Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here, where we are exposing the truth today about Chuck Schumer. You do not want to miss this video. Donald Trump has exposed the truth about Democrats and especially about Chuck Schumer and the Senate that you do not want to miss. And also, he goes in hard on Nancy Pelosi as well, right? I don't know if you guys know this, but Chuck Schumer is one of these career politicians, very old, you know, they've been working in politics for decades, and they are essentially leading our country. Chuck Schumer has one of the highest powers in our government right now, and it just absolutely makes me pissed to see what he is doing, all right? So, we're going to be exposing the truth. And after this video, if you're watching this, Chuck Schumer, I think it's time for you to go, buddy. All right? You've been working in politics far too long. And quite frankly, I don't think you're helping the American people very much at this point. All right? I think you're just in this for yourself. Because if you really cared about the American people, I think you would take a step down and allow somebody new to come in. All right? Even if I don't agree with them. Even if it's someone like Hakeem Jeffries, all right, for crying out loud, at least he's better and newer and fresher than you, all right? The whole point of Donald Trump and the reason why people like Donald Trump is because he is not a career politician. He doesn't even consider himself a politician, right? He was just a successful businessman, already a billionaire, but he was tired of sitting on the sidelines and he wanted to get involved. That's what we're seeing with Elon Musk as well. Donald Trump recently outlined that Elon Musk would have a job in the government uh, heading the government efficiency to save trillions of dollars in waste. And it's people like Chuck Schumer who are devaluing your dollar. The value of your dollar is going down because of the wasteless spending of the government. And it ha it's directly because of these people like Chuck Schumer, right? Chuck Schumer, he's the leader in the Senate, which means any bill that get, has to get passed uh, needs to go through Chuck Schumer, and he's the one who's ultimately going to sign off on it. It's just an absolute joke. Obviously, the president and the House Speaker, Mike Johnson, need to sign off on it as well. But anyways, before we dive in, we're going to read the Bible and we're going to pray because God comes first. Amen. Comment amen down below, my friends, if you believe that God comes first. Today's Bible reading comes from the first book of Corinthians. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now, these three remain. Faith. Hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. Amen. Comment amen down below, my friends. God's love never fails. I absolutely love this Bible reading. Let's jump in. Let's get into the news. All right, so I wanted to start this video off with this new video that's being resurfaced of Chuck Schumer putting Kamala Harris in line. This was back, I believe, when she was a senator. Chuck Schumer did not respect Kamala Harris, watch this, guys. Look at that. The way he looked at her, he goes, come on, hey. I mean, Kamala Harris is laughing right in front of Chuck Schumer. I mean, even that's so disrespectful to do while your colleague and your leader is, you know, speaking. They're joking around about his pin. Oh, he, 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 he. look at her. She's laughing and cackling. She couldn't even stop laughing and cackling while she was senator. Oh, this was in 2020? January 31? 
Was that when maybe she was vice president back this back then? So, yeah. She's a joke. She's an absolute joke. Kamala Harris. You know, Kamala Harris, she got her start in politics through dating the San Francisco mayor, Willie Brown, who was 30 years older than her. I wonder if the other Democrats are kind of like, if that kind of rubbed them the wrong way, because a lot of the, the Democrats, senators, you know, they had to like, I mean, obviously she did go to a law school, it, you know, it was one of the worst law schools in the country and she did fail her bar exam. You know, I wonder if some of the other senators are like, you know, someone like Hakeem Jeffries or even Chuck Schumer is like, dude, she just got a kind of like a one-way ticket after she slept with the, with the mayor who was 30 years older than her. I wonder if that like rubs any of them the wrong way. Here's a clip of Chuck Schumer that I wanted to share with him dancing in the streets with Letitia James, the attorney general who's uh, trying to take down Trump in New York. Look how sweaty he is. I mean, they're rubbing bodies on each other. I mean, Chuck Schumer, like, oh my God. He looks very excited in a weird way. Yes, in a weird way. I mean, they're, they're not they're not trying to hide it anymore, my friends. This is just happening in plain sight. The the most Trump hating. This is the same woman who ran on trying to get Trump taken down. Her her speech that she ran on, she was like, America is more divided than ever before since since the Civil War, and at the eye of the storm is Donald Trump. Like she hates Donald Trump to the core. And you got Chuck Schumer dancing the streets with her. I mean, it's so utterly biased. Like, it's so, it's so disrespectful. So disrespectful. Little background on Chuck Schumer wanted to share this to expose the truth as well. He was a three-term member of the New York State Assembly from 1975 to 1980. He served nine terms in the House of Representatives from 81 to 99. He already served nine terms, elected to a fifth Senate term in 2022. Schumer surpassed Moyen. Uh, he's the longest serving U.S. Senator from New York. I mean, he's coming up on his 50th year anniversary. 50 years working in politics for the Democrats. What an absolute joke. I mean, don't you think there should be some limit at all? I mean, there's a limit in the presidency. They only get two terms. So why do you got a, a guy like Chuck Schumer, who arguably has similar level of power of the president, if you're looking at the three branches of, of government, you have the House, the Senate, and the, um, the presidency, the executive branch. How is Chuck Schumer the leader in the Senate? How is he in, you know, don't even get me started with Nancy Pelosi. I mean, all these, all these Democrats that you hear about, when did Nancy Pelosi get her start? Well, she stepped into politics for the Democratic Party in the 1960s. We're coming up on, uh, what, what is that? 60, 65 years for her, 64 years. She's been, you know, working for the Democrats for over 60 years, six decades. I mean, she's a pro, like, I mean, what are we gonna, like, what, what's going on here? Why is this the thing? Why is this the thing? She sucks quite almost as worse as Chuck Schumer himself. And you know, they actually are like best friends. It's really weird. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, for whatever reason, they like both get together and just hate on Trump together. Like, look at this video of them. They're like eating dinner, talking crap about Trump. I mean, what's going on in our government, my friends? He doesn't know what he's up against. I tell people, Nancy instinctively knew how to handle Trump because for her first, you know, 35, 40 years of life, she raised five children. These are the people leading our country, my friends. Besides the president, the executive branch, these are the leaders for the Democrats. And she knew how to deal with children, and that's what helped her deal with Trump because he ultimately was a child. We had a different approach. Chuck 
is a New Yorker. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. So they spoke their own kind of... They're like finishing each other's sentences. It's so weird. They understood each other. January 6th, there is extraordinary footage... Is he eating steak with a spoon? Brooklyn. So they spoke their own kind of... These people like don't even know how to act normal. Like he's like eating like beef or something with a spoon. They understood each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what's going on? This is, these are like ribs. He's like eating ribs with a January spoon. January 6th, there is extraordinary <laughs> footage of the two of you being evacuated. Um, what was it like that day? It was horrible. I mean, it was a horrible <coughs> time. And um, it's frightening. And we're friends. close friends. It's They're almost friends. like brother and sister. That's right. Like, when you disagree, who wins? Usually her. No, no. When we disagree, then we end the conversation. Yeah. And we know we're going to come we back. We had a pretty and, tough one a week ago, right? What was it? What oh was my it? God, they're talking to each other like, like a couple. There was a tough one a little week ago. <laughs> like, they're so creepy. <laughs> I mean, these are the people leading our country. Um, this is Chuck Schumer singing a message to Trump. This is very strange. Senator Schumer, can we talk to for NBC real quick? We talked to for this was at the DNC. NBC real quick? We'll get you right over here. Senator Schumer, so first of all, talk to you about the atmosphere in here. Is it electric? Excitement, baby. It is electric. It is excitement. And it is, we are going to really kick butt in November. What do you hope to hear Ew. from your friend President Joe Biden tonight? Well, what a great patriot. What an amazing man. The Joe Biden, a great patriot? What, with what logic can you even say that sentence? Always said his number one goal was to stop Donald Trump because of Donald Trump's danger to our democracy. And he actually, when he decided not to run, he showed what a great American he was. <laughs> Chuck Schumer goes, yeah, he really showed Trump what a danger to democracy Trump is when Joe Biden dropped out of the race. What logic do, do these liberals have? I don't understand it at all. And what an unselfish, wonderful man he is. I've known him for 45 years. It didn't surprise me. What's your message to former President Trump? I think Joe Biden's selfish for staying in the race so long. From tonight. You can't always get what you want. Senator Chuck Schumer, the senior senator from the great state of New York there for us. Thanks. For this is su such a cringe fest. Absolute cringe fest. Um... I mean, what? This is Chuck Schumer. This is a weird clip. Giving he gives a gift to Kamala Harris. Let's look at this. This is weird. Have you guys seen this? Chuck Schumer gives a gift to Kamala. Kamala. No one deserves this more than she does. It is my honor to present the golden gap to Vice President Harris on this great day. Thirty-two tie-breaking votes. The golden gavel for the record tie-breaking votes. Um, Chuck Schumer is so cringe. Look at this. He's not only like singing, but he's also dancing. Look at him. What the heck is going on? This is at the DNC. Chuck Schumer in the house, obvious. What the heck is this? Like, who who likes this? Chuck Even the interviewer is like, the CNN reporter is like, what is going on? Schumer in the house, obviously. Uh, fashionably late. Um, motorcades, <laughs> motorcades, and motorcades. <laughs> should, have should have planned that in on our own timing. Um, so Schumer, welcome to the grill, where obviously... Here. They love this. They love this show. Motorcades and motorcades and motorcades. It's like, he's like, I'm important. I'm important. I can arrive late. We know how to flip hamburgers. Oh, guys, tough audience here. <laughs> um, no one in the crowd's laughing. No, this is like, they're all, this is a cringe fest. Look, uh, Schumer, Even his own Democratic supporters are like, bro, stop dancing and s stop singing. He's obviously here. We're excited to have him here because he is one of the top three people who are going to decide what gets done in 2025 if Democrats win a trifecta and what doesn't get done. One word um, answer. A lot of good stuff. <laughs> uh, that was not even one word. What? What the heck? Uh, but before we
we get to 2025 in Harris, let's dive into some recent past. Um, obviously, you are one of the few people who were behind the scenes when it came to Biden making this decision to drop out. Tonight is a big night for the president. He's gonna be basking in the spotlight, be hailed as a hero for putting party first and deciding to step aside. To just start, tell us what is the legacy that you think he left behind? Yeah, and I wouldn't just say he put party first, although you're right, he put country first. And he deserves all the credit in the world right now. Give me a break. Joe Biden, oh yeah, he put America first, yeah. He really put America, he really put our country first when he's taking our US taxpayer dollars and sending it over to Ukraine. Yeah, Joe Biden, you're really putting Americans first when you're opening up the floodgates of the border, getting rid of the border policies that Trump put in place so illegals can come in and get free housing and take away, you know, money from Americans. Yeah, yeah, you got, and oh yeah, let's not forget about FEMA. Let's not forget about all the hurricane victims. You know, Joe Biden, he, yeah, oh yeah, all that money that was supposed to go to help the the, nat the natural disasters. Oh, sh crap. Well, we already spent so much of it sending it, giving it to illegal aliens. You know, our federal government, I'm sorry guys, we already gave a bunch of money to Ukraine. I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta give us $750 loans that are nearly impossible to get. Oh yeah, you. by the way, all y'all who don't have internet, you gotta go online to apply that money. Apply to get that money. The, the loan money. What else? What else has Joe Biden ruined our country with? Um, abortions. What else? Um, our economy. Um, I, can't, I can't think of one thing he's done to help our country. Can you guys? Can you guys? Rachel. You know, when you've had such an amazing career as he has, and I've been with him for, you know, 40 years. When I was a House member and he was in the Senate, we passed the Brady Law and the Assault Weapons Ban and the Violence Against Women Act together. And what we did in 21-22, one of the greatest uh, presidencies and legislative sessions that we've had in decades. So he's done amazing. But he knew he had to put country first. He knew that it was so important to prevent Donald Trump, he said it in his own words, to prevent Donald Trump from being president, that if he was going to stand in the way of that, he wouldn't. Didn't surprise me. He has always done the right thing. And look at the legacy he leaves. So many things that he has gotten done. When <laughs> what legacy has Joe Biden left? He's probably left the worst legacy of any president. I mean, even the CNN reporter is like, come on. She's, she's giving him that face. Ah, uh, come on, Chuck Schumer. No one's buying it. Like, who likes Joe Biden? Hey, where's my ice cream? Nah. <laughs> ah, hey, Jill. A diaper change. I can just imagine Joe Biden late at night after eating his ice cream. He's eating it. <laughs> ah. Diaper change, diaper change. Joe Biden, by the way, oh yeah. I'm gonna do a little fact checking for you, Chuck Schumer, since you guys love that. Joe Biden, how much time has he spent away from the White House? I believe it's like 40%. Biden took 48, what is this one? Biden took 48 years worth of leave in four. He took 48, year, 48 years worth of leave. As Biden's astonishing vacation total revealed. 81-year-old Commander-in-Chief has racked up 532 vacation days in less than four years. I want to ask all of you watching this video, how many vacation days do you take per year? Or how many do you take in, in the span of four years? I guess if what's 532? Let's do some quick math here on their show, live math. This is called Dylan's Math Session. With my nephews, every time I cook food and they're around, I go, Dylan's Cooking Show. Come watch Dylan's Cooking Show. They go, Dylan's Cooking Show. <laughs> well, today we're doing Dylan's Math Show. 532 divided by 4. 133. Have you guys ever taken off 133 days a year at your job? I know I haven't. I maybe take off, like, 
well, I probably take off a couple weeks a year, but I mean, I work seven days a week now, but what's 100, that's 133, divide that by 52, that's 52 weeks. You're taking off 2.5 days a week, every single, 2.5, that's not, count, I don't think that's including weekends. So he's barely working two, three days a week. <laughs> he's our president. So yeah, Chuck, fact checking you, fact checking you, buddy boy. Here's another weird cringe fest of Chuck Schumer dancing. Have you guys seen this? Please welcome Senate Majority Leader and New York Senator Chuck Schumer. Look at him. He's like dancing up on stage. I mean, he loves this. This is like reminds me of Jill Biden. She like loves the attention. The, not the double hand fist. That is such a sexual like move to make, but <laughs> I don't know why I can't. Like, it's like the least, it's like the same thing with Tim Waltz. It's like you put double fists up in the air. You're kind of insinuating something, buddy. I don't know. I don't know. And you know Chuck Schumer's uh, wife? I mean, if I was Chuck Schumer's wife, this lady, Iris, I would not want to see my husband dancing in the streets with Letitia James, rubbing my sweaty body all over each other's. I mean, it's just so, so weird. Um, so yeah, let's listen to this is Donald Trump slamming Pelosi and Schumer. This is the truth, I believe. Let's listen in. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi did not show up for our meeting today. Whoa, they skipped a meeting? I'm not really that surprised. We have a lot of differences. They're weak on crime. They're weak on illegal immigration. They want the illegal folks have come pouring into our border and a lot of problems are being caused although we've stopped it to a large extent as much as you can without the wall which we're going to get they before this meeting and before this missile launch they've been weak on military in terms of spending they're very hard to get for military they want it for a lot of other things but the military is always secondary to them the military to me is number one we won't be here without our powerful military and we're building it up stronger bigger better than ever before and general mattis can testify to that and the other thing they want tax increases and we want major tax decreases so they decided not to show up uh, they've been all talk and they've been no action and now it's even worse. Uh, now it's not even talk. Wow, all talk and no action. That is crazy. Gosh, I miss Donald Trump. I miss somebody actually putting Pelosi and Schumer in place. I mean, I really do. This is Trump again slamming. Chuck Schumer, let's tune in. Unfortunately, Democrats in Congress have no leadership. They're rudderless. Senator Schumer is a bad leader. I've known him a long time. Senator Schumer is a bad leader, not a natural leader at all. He works hard to study leadership. When you have to study leadership, you got problems. And well, he's been working for the Democrats for 40 years. What is it? 40, 50 years almost now. It's like, yeah, he is a leader, but he has to study leadership. That's, it's almost like Kamala Harris. Like, she has to prepare so much for these debates and these interviews and this and that. It's like, you should already be prepared. Or Tim Waltz, by the way. You know, this we're elect. You know, this is somebody we're talking about potentially being the vice president. Tim Waltz owns no real estate. He doesn't own a single stock, a single investment. Kamala Harris is an idiot. How are we supposed to trust these people to lead our country and lead the economy? When you got Tim Waltz, he doesn't even own a piece of real estate or a piece of stock. I own, a, I own real estate and I own stocks. I have my retirement account. He doesn't even have a retirement account set up. I mean, how are we supposed to, he, like how, oh, makes me sick. His policies are hurting innocent Americans and making it easier for drug dealers to enter our country. Schumer is weak on crime. 
and wants to raise your taxes through the roof. He is a poor leader, known him a long time, and he's leading the Democrats to doom. It's sad to see for our country what's happening to the Democrat Party. Well, there you have it, my friends. Donald Trump exposing Schumer. And hey, I don't like Schumer. And let's hope, let's just hope and pray that enough people wake up and actually we get a majority in the Senate again. So we don't have to see another four years of Chuck Schumer as a Senate leader. If Keep that in mind, guys. If Republicans win in the Senate, Chuck Schumer will not be the Senate Majority Leader anymore. So I don't know about you, but that would be good news for me. Let me know your thoughts on this one, guys. Take care. God bless.